We're back with casual conversation with a senior, and this week we have Sydney Staver. Hi, Sid. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. So let's just get into it. You're coming into your senior season, and I want to take you all the way back to like your childhood. So tell us some like fun and fond memories that you have of growing up. Yeah. Um, so growing up, I grew up in a town called Morris, Illinois. Um, so I lived a few years in Illinois. And there, my life revolved around dance, which is kind of oh. crazy. Um, I didn't really play any other sports other than dance. I did tumbling and gymnastics at the studio. Um, and this is a lot because of my mom. Uh, in Morris, she was a palm coach at the high school. And she's actually a pretty big deal down in Illinois. Um, she's in the Hall of Fame down there. Um, and she won 20 straight state titles. So wow. because of that, I was, yeah, I was automatically put into the uh, dance world. Um, and this is why you can do like, can't you do like a flip or a handspring or something? Yeah, yeah. I actually was just doing it last night. Um, oh, my geez. boyfriend didn't believe I could do it. So I was like, really? You're going to test me like that? So oh, gosh, just don't get injured, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so my, I mean, I would go to school, um, and I'd be picked up and I'd be at the dance studio from the moment school ended until about eight. Um, and if I wasn't there, I was with my mom in the, in her studio. So I, I learned a lot from my mom during that, um, and what it takes to be a competitor. My mom is the most competitive person you'll ever meet. And she would not leave that studio until things were perfect. And I think that's where I kind of got my perfectionist trait from. Um, so yeah, I credit a lot of that to my mom. Um, and then once we left Illinois, my parents wanted to come back because they're from Wisconsin. So we came back to where they were from. And from there, my dad was like, just, just let her try, you know, basketball and some other things. So I moved to Mineral Point, which is a really small town. And from there, I, I kind of did everything and it was nice. That's why I loved living in a small town because I didn't specialize in one sport. I did, I played track, volleyball, and basketball. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing everything. Um, and yeah, my brother too, I would say a lot of my childhood was with my brother. He's my best sure. friend. Um, and even his friends are my best friends. I still hang out with his friends. That's um, nice. And I would say that I, I have some pretty thick skin from having to hang around them my whole life and uh, listening to them just, you know, belittle me the whole time. <laughs> yeah. And he had a really successful career at Edgewood College. He did. Yeah. Um, he yeah you can, you can learn from his successes. Absolutely. Yep. Good. Well, talk to us about some of your goals coming into this season. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously the season looks a little different. Um, and I would say my goals haven't changed. And this year I really want to attack it with no regrets. Um, I want to look back at the season and see that I've done everything that I could and I left it all on the court. Um, and I think that also goes outside of the court. I want to make the most out of every moment I have with my teammates, um, you know, and just you're only in college once. And I think that's like the big, my biggest goal. Um, but on the court, I think just being consistent would be my, one of my main ones, um, offensively, defensively, and then obviously just having confidence. That's something that I've struggled with coming into college, um, just being confident in myself. And I, I hope that this year I can really, you know, stay consistent with that. Well, it was really fun to watch you turn it on towards the end of last season. And we know that we can expect that same thing coming into this year. We're super excited about it. Yes. So off the court, you know, like stepping into your senior season, like you've really kind of upped your leadership. And it's been noticeable just on all the Zoom calls we've had. So talk to us about some of the ways that you really kind of attacked that here in this off season. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I can brag a little bit about my senior class and the people that I'm with. I'm, a, I'm in a group that is just some of the best leaders you'll see, um, even since freshman year. Like, they came in and I'm not as, you know, I'm not that type of person. And I've learned a lot from them. And they had no fear coming into it. And they've done so well with that. Um, so you know, during quarantine, this is obviously a different time and it's weird for all of us. Uh, but I feel like the team has kind of relied on the seniors direction to take us through the summer. Um, and I think we've done a really good job at that. Um, during March, we would FaceTime almost every day to figure out different things that we would, you know, keep the team connected. Um, like just different, different games like that. And it, I mean, it's different. It's different for everyone. And 
I think that this, this group is trying to set a standard. The seniors is setting a standard since we are a big senior group and there's a big freshman group coming in. So we want that standard to be set. And once we leave, we want them to know that that's what it is to be a Milwaukee Panther. Oh, I love that. And um, speaking of your senior class, like what do you guys want your identity to be? Um, what, does, what do you want your mark to be? Because it, you guys are such an incredible group and we feel so fortunate um, to have you guys here just on the court and off the court. So what do you want people to remember most about you guys? Yeah, um, like I just said, like that standard, we, we as a group want to set that standard for the, the younger people coming in. And I think what you'll see when we play is that my group is a, it's going to be heart and hard work and passion. Like everything we do, if it's basketball, if it's class, if it's your friends, like we put so much heart and passion into what we do. Um, and we never quit. It doesn't matter if we, you know, are down or if we're up, like we're never going to quit. We're never going to take a playoff. And I think you'll see that in every play, every play this year. Well, that would be a great legacy to leave and something that we, we can't wait to see for years to come and we can attribute it back to your class. Yes, yes, I would love to. Thanks for your time today, Sid. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to your Choose the Character later tonight. Woo! <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>